All right, my friends, it is time here today for Peppermint Cookie, brand new upgrade with the Magic Candy. We're going to break it all down for you in today's topping and biscuit guide here. Super excited about this one because we got some pretty sweet changes and upgrades to this particular cookie. Thank you for tuning in. As always, if you got a question, if you got a comment, let me know. If you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe, and that keeps you up to date on all the content here that we have as well. Now, down below in today's episode, you can find our timestamps where I will break down this cookie. We'll give you the biscuits. We'll give you the toppings. We're also going to talk about, I like to talk, right? About the magic candy, my friends. Go for a run and pull it all home as we always do. Now, on top of that, in that description, in the details, you can find a lot of other great information and the uh, Discord server information where you can also ask questions there as well. All right, so let's get into it here. Peppermint cookie. We got the new magic candy here in the latest and greatest update we got to re-break this one down here for you and give it a facelift in terms of an updated topping and biscuit guides however first and foremost this cookie is a support cookie it's a rear cookie the other thing to be aware of with this particular cookie is i do have it at two stars as number one free-to-play player however you can go get it to five star in the mileage shop so don't forget that um, I may end up doing that. We'll see. All is going to depend as always. However, at least right now, not a bad idea. So I did want to share that with you here. Now, a couple things about this particular cookie. Um, we do have our power level here. And in terms of our move set, we have freshness of the sea. This is a 17 second cooldown. I do already have it maxed. Peppermint cookie along with my level. Peppermint cookie blows the conch shell here to summon the peppermint whale. The refreshing sound of the conch shell heals the team increasing their damage resist and debuff resist the peppermint whale creates a wave dealing water type damage to enemies in front of it and also heals the allies for an amount equal to the proportion of damage dealt fresh water brought by the whale covers the team with an hp shield peppermint cookie will briefly become resistant to interrupting effects while using the skill we have healing at 174 percent of attack Debuff resist at 35% of attack for 15 seconds. Damage resist 15% roughly there for 15 seconds. HP shield blocks damage equal to 15% of max HP for 5 seconds. Peppermint uh, wave there damage 600%. Peppermint wave healing heals HP equal to 95% of peppermint wave damage dealt. Healing is capped at 200% of peppermint cookies attack as well. So keep that in mind. So that is the move set. Again, it's a 17 second cooldown. However, it's only good for about 15. So we got some good strategies that we're going to cover on that here today. However, we also have our peppermint cookies, magic candy. Let's go ahead and create this as well before we break it down. Super excited about this, my friends. Took me roughly 24 hours. So if you watch the very first one that we did post update, you can find that here on the channel, which was the breakdown for the beast raid. Uh, took me roughly that long to get these. So a um, couple things here for Peppermint Cookies Magic Candy. Refreshing Waves. Here we got 13 seconds. Peppermint Cookie dispels burn from allies and casts an HP shield equal to a portion of the target's HP. Water type cookies on the team will have the freshness of the sea's effects amplified and twice as powerful HP shields now. Additionally, Peppermint Wave deals extra damage to enemies in PvE, so don't forget that. That's different. PvE. This is something that we haven't seen quite yet. We also haven't seen the removal of Burn, so we'll come to that here in a second. HP Shield for Burn targets, 15% of max HP for 5 seconds. Water Type Cookies, Debuff Resist for 35%, Damage Resist 16, HP Shield for 35%. Um, and peppermint wave damage enemies in PvE for 354% as well. Now, at level 10, there are peppermint wave healings at 280% of attack, healing uh, for burn dispel targets, additional 20% of attack for one second um, over five seconds. We also have at 20, peppermint wave healing at 300% of attack, at 30, peppermint wave healing 340% of attack. So why is that important? They're scaling on the healing there, so it's going to be capped off that. This is creating a bigger heal as you move up in terms of the level. So that plays pretty, pretty closely into some of the strategies that we're gonna talk about. You can see this happen right here with the move set as well. There goes the conch shell, there goes our wave, and there you have it with our cooldown as well and everything else going. We are gonna show that here today as well. Now, 
Let's get into it because you are here to learn more about the biscuit and toppings themselves as well. So here we go. Let's break down the biscuit piece. So first and foremost here in terms of your biscuit, as we always say, you want to kind of really make these in combination of your toppings. So a couple things on this. This cookie isn't necessarily an attack cookie. Um, however, there's a couple things to consider. We'll come back to this a little bit later um, when we get to our toppings. You can use your damage resist bypass here, so don't forget that. The other thing that I want to bring up is when they do create a legendary biscuit for water type cookies, you could also go that route as well, so don't forget it. Um, we could consider things like damage resist here for survivability. Um, you could consider cooldown. We'll come back to that in a little bit. Now, the other pieces here are going to be attack and HP. So those two ones are definitely, definitely key. We're already going to get a bunch by getting this to level 30. Um, however, a couple things to understand when we go back here. Everything's scaled off of attack. So it, healing, scaling off of attack. You're capped by heals on attack. We're at a 17 second cooldown or a 13 second cooldown on the other one. This is still only good for 15 seconds and they're not stacking. So the biggest thing first and foremost, there are those pieces to consider. Survivability, cooldown, or leaning into more attack. Now that can be a big, big difference there for you. If you go down that attack route and really wanna try and support a little bit differently, you could try that damage this bypass. However, just remember that it's not going to scale anything else, which may be why you don't want to do it as a second piece because this cookie isn't an attack cookie and we're more focused on the scale and that percentage of the attack and HP. So keep those two things in mind. So I would probably stack rank attack, HP, and cooldown as part of those things, plus that survivability with damage resist there. Now let's go ahead and talk about the toppings because this is where it becomes even more so important for you here. So first and foremost, we are on cooldown. I'm going to come back to the next piece here in a second. So in terms of cooldown, if you go down this path, a lot of the stuff that I talked about, attack HP, um, is great to have as substats, particularly on the other one as well. So don't forget that. You might want to go with damage resist. However, a couple things to understand here on this side of the house as well is that at attack and HP, you're definitely going to want those as substats. The damage resist you're going to want as well. Cooldown you could consider if you're already cooldown. However, again, think about that 13 and 15 second piece. Okay, so those are all key pieces that you kind of want to use here for your toppings as we go all the way around. Things to consider. Now, here is where we're going to have a big pivot. So the pivot is going to be a little bit different. The second set or even your primary set could actually be on attack. Now, you may not want to do this if Peppermint Cookie is your primary healer. Now, the good thing is in PvE, it could be a big healer and maybe function as that primary healer just depending on the team that you're running, their survivability of that team. Maybe you're getting big heals with this thing. Uh, instead, you could go down that attack route because it's gonna scale everything else. And then again, play very, very heavily into um, your biscuit as well. Now, the other key piece that I wanted to share with you here isn't just that, it is also this. Don't forget here, my friends, Magic Candy Package, no. Um, however, great time to like and support the channel, my friends, and we have memberships and a lot of other things. So thank you for that. All right, so where I was actually going to here is when we go to our usables, don't forget, we have these right here, sea salt toppings. Yes, a great time to use this on some cookies like peppermint cookie. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab five of these right here because I've been saving them forever because many of you know that I save a lot of stuff here as you can see as a free-to-play player. I like making it harder. I like producing these guides to help you out. All right, here we go, and myself, right? All right, so now we're going back to the toppings. We're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna go that multiple upgrade, and we're actually gonna lean in on these right here. We're gonna go with five of the sea salts. We're gonna go to 12, we're gonna auto upgrade this here. Here we go. And what we're doing is, we're leaning into that attack. So that is a key piece to this cookie, particularly if it's not the primary healer, I would probably go this route. So like if you're going to go as of right now, if you're reading this guide or watching the guide, because you're not reading the guide, um, well, you could be reading the subtitles, I guess. 
um, you will find out that Ma uh, Mystic Flower is going to be a primary one here. So this is a great opportunity to have this supporting healer in here as a part of that team, kind of like also the ferret, cream ferret as an example. So now we're really boosting our attack. We got great damage resist here. We got some decent cooldown, other attack speed, things like that. Again, on those substats, this is great. This is okay. Not a great one. This is good. We got the damage resist. We got more attack. We got cooldown here. And we got attack speed, damage resist, damage resist. So some things that you could keep trying to tweak as an example to make this thing better. Now, what I would suggest doing though is potentially going on cooldown here first. And then as you cut over, depending on the team, making sure that you have the Raspberry one as well. Certainly you can use these probably if you got 50 of them like me. Uh, you can definitely, definitely, definitely use the sea salt resonant toppings um, as well. So, and we do have guides on how you can get more of those here um, on the channel. All right. So that is peppermint cookie. That is the biscuit strategy and the topping strategy, the magic candy. Let's go ahead and go for a run with this one here. Um, as well back to world exploration we got all these great guides for you here in beast yeast however we're heading out of beast yeast we're heading out of that we're going to dark mode and we're going to go to our favorite spot here hall of enlightenment 829 now if you haven't already this cookie is also a healing cookie when it comes to nutmeg tiger you can check that guide out here on the channel however today we are here to do our run with the peppermint where are you there we go all right, so 276 versus 257. Let's see how this goes. Yes, we're going to start anyway. Because again, it's going to do damage. So that damage will help us get by. You can see exactly how this cookie is going to go. Going really, really fast there. Let's slow it down just a little bit, my friends. Look at that. Boom. Now look at, I'm already on an eight second cooldown there. That is going to be with, because it was the first slot, it's going to be the cooldown slot. Now, this thing's dealing a ton of damage. We got a lot of great pieces here. Attack up, whistle up, all those things. So you can see that it's going to keep staying very, very fast. There you go. And we'll speed it up. Now, that's going to be the other combination here when it comes to this one in particular. There we go. We'll come back to that here in a second. Watch this. Big heals, big shield, here it comes. Boom, and one more. Game over, look at that. So that, my friends, was on the cooldown, so we cut that, that speed in half if you go that route. Um, if you wanna go in the attack route like I did as that supporting piece, great idea as well we made sure we covered the gambit for you here today when it comes to peppermint so that you can understand specifically some of the key concepts the key ideas and what you should know about when you put this cookie together for you and invest in this particular cookies gear toppings biscuits and everything there for you here today with that i hope you enjoyed today's episode if you still got a question if you got a comment let me know because i'd love to hear from you as always and would love to see you in our amazing community and discord server my friends like i said that information is available to you down below on top of that thank you thank you for tuning in today i appreciate your support thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this amazing community here and on top of that we do have uh i want to say thank you to our members we do have memberships available to you um, they come with emotes, icons, a bunch of other things. Additionally, we have affiliate links and a swag and merch store that you can check out. All nice ways to support. I really, really appreciate it. And on top of that, no pun intended, don't forget my socials, at me, chat me, stay connected. Let me know what you think of Peppermint Cookie and the dual prong strategy that we're running here and how to think about this in relation to your team and your strategies. With that, thank you so much. As I said, until next time, my friends, best of luck with this cookie. We'll see you again soon and keep on running.